Hi all, welcome to Smart Education. In this section, we are going to learn how our basic number system works, and we are also going to discuss about an important concept called place value. The number system that we use in math is called base ten because it uses ten different symbols for counting. Math could use other systems that are based on different numbers like base two or base eight. I will give you ten guesses as to why the number ten is such a popular choice. The ten symbols that we use are called digits, and they look like this: zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. At first glance, you might think that's only nine digit. But remember, the zero count as one of the digit also. To see how our number system uses these digit to represent amount, let's pretend that we have an apple orchard full of apple trees, and each of these trees is loaded with full of red apples that we need to pick and then count for our record. We are going to use something called Number place to count. The best way to understand a number place is to imagine that it's like a small box that's only big enough to hold one digit at a time. As we count, we will change the digit that's in number place to match how many apple we have picked. For example, if we start with no apple at all, we put the digit zero. In the number place, because zero means none. But then, as the apple coming, we begin to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now we have got nine apples. But we also got a problem. We have already run out of digit to count with. Highest digit we have is a nine, but there is a lot of apples left to count. What will we do? The solution is to use groups to help us count. If we pick just one more apple, we will have ten, right? So let's combine those ten apple into a single group. So how many apples do you have? Ten. Ten. But how many groups of ten apples do we have? Just one. Okay. Does that help us with our lack of digit problem? It sure does if we use another number place. Instead of using this new number place to count up individual apples, at a time like we did with the first number place, we are going to use it to count apples ten at a time. In other words, we will use it to keep track of how many group of ten apples. We have picked. For example, if we picked only one group of ten apples, then we will put digit one in the number place. If we picked two group of ten, then we will put the digit two in the number place. And if we have picked three group of ten, then we will put three in the number place, and so on. Do you see what's happening? Because the new number place is being used to count groups of ten, it allows us to reuse our original ten digits. But this time, they are able to count bigger amounts. Since this new number place is for counting group of tens, we are going to name it as the tens place. We will name our original number place the ones place. Because we use it to count things one at a time, and here is the important thing: we are not going to use the new number place instead of the old one. We are going to use it alongside of the old one, so that we have one number place for counting by ones and another number place for counting by tens. Using these two number place together, let us represent amount that are in between groups of tens. For example, if we have picked thirty apple, then there will be three in the tens place because we have three groups of ten. 
but there will be zero in the ones place because there is no individual apple left over if we have picked 32 apples then there will be 3 in the tens place and 2 in the ones place represent two individual apples that are not in the group of 10 but using only our 10 digits and these two number places we can count all the way from 0 to 99 at 99 both our number places are maxed out with the highest digits and we wouldn't be able to count any higher unless we get another number place we have picked 99 apples and then we pick just one more apple we will have exactly 100 apples and if we make a group from those 100 apples we can use this new number place to count how many groups of 100 apple we have picked that means that we can reuse the same 10 digit again in the new number place to count how many groups of 100 we have and you guessed it it's called the hundreds place because we use it to count groups of 100 are you started to see how our base 10 number system works it uses different number places to represent the different size group that we use to count and the digit in those number places tells us how many of each group we have digit in the ones place tells us how many group of ones we have the digit in the tens place tells us how many groups of tens we have the digit in the hundreds place tells us how many groups of 100 we have have you noticed that each time we got a new number places to count large groups placed it to the left of previous number place it's important because number places are always arranged in the exact same order start with the ones place as we move to the left the number places represent larger and larger amounts and did you also notice that each number places represent groups that are exactly 10 times bigger than the previous number place is 10 times bigger than 1 and 100 is 10 times bigger than 10 it's really important because it help us see the pattern for bigger number places it help us to see that the next number place will count groups of 10 times 100 which is 1000 why it's called the thousands place next number place will count groups 10 times bigger than that that is 10 thousands place number places keep on going like that next is the 100 thousands place then the million place then 10 million then 100 million then billion and so on and you may notice that when we get a lot of number places next to each other like this it's a little hard to quickly recognize which place is which that's why many countries uses some kind of separators between every three places to make them easier to keep track of For example in us we use a comma between every three number places to make it easier seeing all these number places together help you understand what we mean by place value a multiple digit number the number place that's a digit is in determine its value even though we only have 10 digit each digit can stand for different amount depending on the place value it occupies if the digit 5 is in ones place it just means 5 if a 5 is in tens place then it means 50 and if the 5 is in hundreds place it means 500 and it's same for bigger number places if 5 is in 100 thousand place means 500 thousand if 5 is in billion space means 5 billion see how a digits place affects its value of course when we work with numbers in math most of the time the number places are invisible but the underlying pattern is always the same oh and because the number places are invisible in certain cases you will need to use zeros to make it clear what number you are talking about 
to see what I mean imagine that 5 is in hundreds place to represent 500 but if you make the number places invisible then it just look like 5 not 500 so to make sure people know you mean 500 you need a 5 in the hundred place and 0 in the tens place and 0 in the ones place now you can tell that 5 is in hundreds place and it means 500 okay now a great way to see place value in action with some actual numbers is to expand them show that they are really combination of different groups when we do this it's called writing a numbers in expanded form for example we can expand 324 to be 320 and 4 because the 3 is in hundreds place and means 300 and the 2 in tens place means 20 and 4 in ones means 4. So 324 in expanded form is the combination of those amounts that is 300 plus 20 plus 4. Let's try writing another number in expanded form 6715. We can expand this into 6000 plus 700 plus 10 plus 5. 6000 in thousand space, 700 in seven, hundreds place, 10 in tens place, 5 in ones place. Alright, so do you see how our base 10 number system works? Number places are used to count different sized group each group is 10 times bigger than the next and the digit in the number place tells us how many of each group we have the tricky part is that the number places are invisible so you have to know how they work behind the scenes in order to make sense of multiple digit numbers thank you all See you next time.